going to show you plugins quickly on the SC48 and how to get at them. You hit the plugins tab here on the menu page, which pulls up our racks. On the SC48, you can currently do up to 40 plugins. There are four racks with 10 slots each. You need to be in config mode here in console mode to load different plugins and change the architecture of them. So to the right of the plugin here is this little chevron arrow. When we click that, it brings down, because this is a mono input, only mono plugins are available. We can select EQ, dynamics, pitch shift, reverb, etc., etc., and put on whatever plugin we want to use on that channel. To assign input output to that channel at the very top across the window here is another little drop down. So we're going to go to inserts and we're going to insert this on channel one. That automatically sends it and brings it back from channel one. And then the third step here, we're going to double click on that EQ. And with the mouse or with encoders on the console, we can manipulate the EQ, cut and boost stuff. Change our frequency, change our cues. Below the assignment here is which insert point off the channel you're on. There's four available, so you can put up to four plugins on one input channel. And then underneath here on the bottom right is snapshot assignment. So if we had any snapshots, running on the console, we could save this plugin setting into said snapshot. On the left here is a on off for the plugin and an in and out. So you can AB any EQing or compression you've done to that channel and AB it here. I'm going to show you quickly by going to options, events. We already have one set up here is a tap tempo. So we've got it right now, so when the user switch is pressed or function 7 switch, the user switch is bottom left corner of the console here. When I tap this button, you see at the bottom left of the screen, the BPM come up. Or we can use the function switch and get the same effect. Within your plugins, you have to make sure whatever you're trying to tap to has the tap assigned to it. We go into the delay. You just have to make sure that your tempo here is locked. And you can see now as I tap that the delay time changes. To match. So that covers the basics on getting signal in and out of the Avid SC48. Look back for future videos going a little more in depth.